Hi everyone, welcome back to the world of vaccines. In today's video, we will be discussing infectious disease outbreaks that have occurred in the United States recently. We will also talk about why these outbreaks have happened and what we can do as a community to avoid them. A lot of you might be unaware that there have been a handful of outbreaks of diseases such as measles, mumps, and even rotavirus relatively recently, and they might be closer than you think. In the video, what does vaccination mean for my community? I explain the concept of herd immunity or community immunity. Feel free to pause this video and go back and watch that video, but if you are ready, let's get to it. As a quick refresher, herd immunity is the concept that when a specific percentage of the population is immune to an infectious disease, this provides protection to the members of a community. Herd immunity rates differ for each disease. For example, according to the World Health Organization, for an extremely contagious disease such as measles, 95% of the population needs to be vaccinated in order to reach herd immunity. And for a disease like polio, roughly 80% of the population needs to be vaccinated for community protection. Vaccination rates for measles, mumps, and rubella, or the MMR, have been pretty consistent for the last few years, staying at around 90%. Remember that measles requires 95% of the population to be vaccinated in order to reach herd immunity. Even though the vaccination rates are relatively high, the threshold for herd immunity is not met. This has led to various outbreaks throughout the country. A lot of the recent reported outbreaks are COVID-19 related. However, there have been some other infectious disease outbreaks in the last few years. In 2019, 22 different measles outbreaks were reported to the CDC, which collectively consisted of over 1,200 cases. Additionally, in 2017, in California, there were three different rotavirus outbreaks that not only involved children, but also adults in care facilities. In August of 2019, in Nebraska, there was a mumps outbreak where the infection spread from one asymptomatic guest to 30 of the other guests. Also in 2017, there were over 1,500 hepatitis A cases collectively in California, Kentucky, Michigan, and Utah. A great place to look for more information on outbreaks is the CDC MMWR reports, which stands for Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report. I have put a link in the description box if you wanted to do your own research on different infectious disease outbreaks. The influenza virus is, is unique in the sense that herd immunity levels need to be reestablished yearly because the virus mutates frequently. This is why we have to get a new flu vaccine every year in the fall. Even though the flu vaccine is not as effective as let's say the MMR vaccine, it still provides protection. And if infected, it will reduce the duration of symptoms and reduce the risk of post-flu complications. Tetanus is a disease that is infectious, but not contagious, meaning that if someone were to contract tetanus, they will not be able to transmit it to others. For this disease, herd immunity cannot be reached. So if you are not vaccinated, you will not be protected by the community. Make sure that you go check out my Vaccine Preventable Diseases two-part series where I talk all about the different infectious diseases that can be prevented with vaccines. So the question is, why do outbreaks happen? Well, they happen because vaccination rates are below the required herd immunity threshold. There tends to be groups of unvaccinated people that are clustered together all throughout the country. These populations are at risk for both spreading and contracting many infectious diseases that can potentially be fatal. Now, a disease like polio, we don't typically see in the United States because of the success of the vaccine and the high vaccination rates. Now, vaccination rates for both both measles and polio seem to stay at around 90%, give or take, but this exceeds the polio herd immunity threshold and does not exceed the measles threshold. This results in outbreaks of measles and little to no outbreaks of polio unless an individual travels and is unprotected and then around other unvaccinated individuals. The next question to consider is how can these outbreaks be avoided? Well, the answer is relatively simple we need to get vaccination rates above the herd immunity levels and have as many people as possible get vaccinated. There are people such as the immunocompromised and pregnant women who are unable to receive certain vaccines. 
Therefore, they rely on other members of the community to be vaccinated in order for them to be protected. For the infectious disease COVID-19, herd immunity rates are unknown at this time. However, experts expect that the threshold should be around 70%. Right now in the United States, vaccination rates have almost reached half of the expected threshold. However, we still have a long way to go in order to reach herd immunity. Therefore, it is extremely important that as many people as possible get vaccinated. In the description box below, I will post links where you can go find out more information about the COVID-19 vaccine. I hope you learned something new by watching this video and now realize the importance of vaccination and how outbreaks can be avoided. Keep an eye out for more videos on vaccine safety and efficacy. See you next time. Thanks for joining us. See you next time on the world of vaccines.